This is a money point area of the Elizabeth River project and there's lots of historic creosote facilities here that were engaged in wood treatment um, production for the development of the Baltimore Harbor. What they're finding is that up to 96 percent of the sediment is severely degraded and devoid of life. That's what creosote was made for. It's a material that pe things can't live in. But once you remove that from the environment and put a clean, cleaner material in place, then the organisms come right back. They thrive. It was interesting in this section here, uh, the, the wetland creation, once we removed the toxic material and put a healthy sand placement there, fish, crabs, uh, birds just flock to the area and used it. They're feeding there now. They're recovering. What the Living River Restoration Trust and Elizabeth River Project are trying to do is show people that river restoration can occur. Take this idea and move it up the river and around to other areas that need the same type of help.